Hey guys, today we are making a lockdown blood match. So go to custom match, one on one, steel cage, first blood on, time limit, no limit, post match running is going to be off. We're not going to mess with anything in these two sections. We'll go to the end, we'll name it lockdown first blood match or whatever you want to call it. I call it a lockdown blood match. So let's go check it out and see how it works with these two guys Arthur Duncan and Eddie Ward
challenging aspects of a steel cage match is you have to play offense and defense at the same time. Victory can be achieved by pinfall, submission, or escape. And the unforgiving cage can tear you to shreds in the process. That's why I say do unto others before they do unto you. Especially All right, so the match is underway between these guys. And one of my favorite parts about this type of matchup is it works really well for grudge matches. It's a first blood match, so they have to make their opponent bleed. They don't have any weapons in the ring. All they have is that steel siding that they can use on their opponents, which half the time they don't even use. So if you're trying to end a really big feud, sometimes these matches actually do work quite well because they'll give you a good 15 minute matchup or a good 10 to 15 minute match. Um, a main event worthy match between both of the opponents who are fighting in the ring. So let's say in this scenario Arthur and Eddie were in the middle of a feud and they were just they hated each other's guts. Let's say that um, Arthur was cheating his way out of defending the belt against Eddie and it finally got to the point where they were fighting in the parking lot, um, fighting at ringside, fighting all over the arena, and we finally just wanted to lock him up and make him face off against each other to finally settle the score. That's where this match would come in. You got those really long feuds and you want that match that's going to settle the score. Lock two people up inside of a steel cage and tell them that the only way they're going to win is by making their opponent bleed. At least just some interesting uh, cutscenes and um, and whatnot. Another way to look at this rivalry, let's say, um, let's put Arthur in the in the good guy category for this one. Normally he'll be he'll be a heel, but let's just run a scenario like let's say maybe there was an alternate universe where Arthur is the um, babyface cruiserweight champion and uh, Eddie has been making his life a living hell the last month all just just trying to get a title shot um, maybe he's you know been interrupting matches or he started um, helping Arthur win but Arthur didn't want that you know um, they get into some pretty bad fights backstage uh, get into a, a yelling match, which leads Arthur to finally say, you know what, I normally don't do this. Um, I like making my opponents tap out, but in your case, I'm going to make you bleed. So then they go into this cage match, facing off against each other with a first blood stipulation. That could work. You know, that could be one of those scenarios that could lead to this. So, I mean... They work really well as as feud enders. So if you once you make your opponent bleed, I, I, the way I figure is this: if you make them either say "I quit," or you you get them to the point to where all you want to do is injure them to that point, that's a good feud ender, um, and that's what I think this match would be really good for and used really well for. Then again, there are also the um, deathmatch enthusiasts who like extreme violence in all of their matches. So this would be a great match to just add to your roster. Let's say you had a let's say you had a deathmatch division on one of your shows, and uh, you were looking for a brand new uh, match to roll out. This um, this lockdown blood match would work really well. Because it's just them, the steel siding, and uh, them using their bodies as weapons. So I mean, even if you had a, a deathmatch division or a hardcore division, and you have two guys who are more technical wrestlers in there, you could throw them in this match, and they'd, they'd use their body to make their opponents bleed. Um, so here's a good example. Oh, nope, that wasn't, that wasn't there yet. So, um, 
a little later in the match, like in a few minutes, Arthur keeps working on Eddie's head, and he ends up getting him in a in a few um, tap out predicaments, but you can't tap out. So that's the other reason I'm saying this is like this would be really good for a feud ender. Like I'm going to make you tap as many times as I can before I finally end your suffering. You know, it's it's one of those. These guys get to do whatever they want to punish their opponent um, with the ultimate goal of making them bleed. So they literally have to use everything in their arsenal to make that happen. And the amount of DDTs and brain busters and just insane moves that, that string together those... Um, that cause your opponent to bleed. That's what these guys are going to go for. They're also going to go for their, their signature moves quite a bit. So you see Eddie going in the corner. He's got that 630 senton. He ended up hitting it twice there. Wait, is he going to hit it a third time? I had to look away during some of the recording of this. Oh my god, he went for it a third time. Obviously, Arthur learned from it, you know, kicking him in the midsection and everything. But it led to a really, this led to a really good match between these guys. So I figured I'd go ahead and play the full match for you guys so you could see the entire thing. Um, Arthur blocking it and kicking him in the midsection. And Eddie fighting back. I mean, this is a good, good back and forth between these guys. There we go, another brain buster. And Eddie, just, you know, at that point was standing there making sure, seeing if Arthur was bleeding yet, realizing he's not. Kick to the face. I mean, they're they're going for it. They're trying their best. And then Arthur, as I mentioned earlier, going for the Dragon Slayer and locking it in. And even though Eddie is tapping out, it doesn't do him any good. Not in this match. Again, why it's um, that again would be why this is a good matchup to be a feud ender. Just because these guys, they're going to punish their opponent as much as they can during this match. With the ultimate goal of making the opponent bleed. Eddie landing another 630 centon there. Picking Arthur back up. Going against the ropes again. And, uh, well, he missed that. <laughs> he definitely missed that kick. Working on Arthur. Sending him into the ropes. Grabs him. Arthur with a reversal. Missed the punch. Eddie would end up picking him up. Slamming him on the mat. Again, not working on his head. But kind of you kind of need to. These guys need to focus on each other's faces. And, I mean, he was kind of going for it there, but Arthur was able to move out of the way again, and Arthur being that I'm, I'm never going to the top rope guy, you know, utilizing this to his advantage so he can punish and wear down his opponent. He is causing a lot of blood to rush to Eddie Ward's head, which could end up helping him later. These guys, they, they're staying focused, you know, their, their main focus is to punish their opponent. Every, every chance they get, they go straight for, straight for the other guy's face, pretty much, trying to make him bleed. And that's what adds to a little bit of the, the drama in the match. Like, every time Arthur locks in a Dragon Slayer, and he just wrenches back all the way and makes Eddie tap. All for, for nothing, just to have to let him go again. It's like I may have to may have to make you bleed, but I'm gonna punish you on the way. You know, it it adds layers. Arthur stomping on his face there, and that actually did make him bleed, which would allow Arthur to win this matchup. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make a um, a first blood match inside of a steel cage. 
which in Octane we call an A Lockdown Blood Match. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, I'll be uploading more of these one-off um, match videos where I'll make a match and play it for you guys. If you want me to talk over the match during or during the matches, uh, let me know in the comments. If you prefer that I just let the matches play out, uh, let me know in the comments as well. I'll see you all next time. Have an amazing day.